We are back with a Fox News alert. Right now, we're seeing smoke along the Israel-Gaza border more than 40 days after the, the war between Israel and Hamas began. This just hours after IDF released images of weapons found during a raid at the largest hospital in Gaza. Trey Inks, live in southern Israel. He actually went into that hospital with the IDF. Trey, what did you see? Todd Carly, good morning. Overnight, we joined Israeli forces in the heart of Gaza City as they continued a raid of Gaza's Al Shifa Hospital. The Israelis controlled where we could go and who we could talk to, but it did give us some insight into the situation on the ground. Here's a preview of our reporting for later today. Nearly three weeks into the ground operation, we are with the Israeli military in the dark of night, headed into the heart of Gaza City. The Israelis have been fighting block by block and street by street against Hamas. They recently gained control of the Al-Shati camp and the Al-Shifa hospital. You can hear the Israelis are engaged in gun battles here with Hamas. Right now we're in Gaza's Al-Shifa hospital. It was raided overnight by Israeli forces who are looking for Hamas infrastructure and weapons. They are still searching at this hour for the tunnels that they say are beneath the hospital, but they did recover weapons. They say belong to Hamas in an MRI room here on one side of the facility. And when you look behind the machine, you see the weapons and ammunition. The Israelis say Hamas had ready to go so that they could continue engaging Israeli forces in the heart of Gaza City. What we have here is professional Hamas literature, uh, all of it with the uh, official insignia of, uh, of Hamas. Um, and we have here really a mix of tactical brochures for commanders, how to attack a tank, and what type of ammunition to use in uh, what kind of situation. The Israelis did not show us any of the tunnels they claim are beneath Gaza's Al-Shifa hospital. They did, however, recover some of those small arms in the radiology unit. We posed questions to the Israelis about the criticism they faced for raiding a medical facility. They said that no Palestinians were killed during the operation. Todd, Carly. Mm. Wow. Trey Yanks live for us in southern Israel. Trey, as always, thank you.